caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica with me JCB. We left off last time, we'd uh, just started uh, gathering some supplies for tools, we've got a couple more things to get. I need a scanner, I need um, a torch and I need a, a habitat builder. So to get these things I'm going to have to get uh, a little bit further away from the escape pod but um, see if we can get um some bits for the scanner first because hopefully then i can get the sea glide do i need this yet yeah, may as well get some table co coral while i'm there um it's quite interesting uh, when you read uh, what each um um thing can be used for so the table coral says that it has a certain um quality that allows it to be used for electrical circuits so that's pretty cool um, but yes, let's get the scanner first, which I think we just need a battery for. We'll need oxygen, um, oxygen. and possibly some titanium, which I probably already have. So um, let's um, go see if we can make that first, and then we'll go and get the stuff for the habitat builder. Nice, so we've got the scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. So as you can hear, it's extremely useful. So, um, what else do I need? Uh, some glass. So I need quartz to make glass. So again, we're going to have to um, go a bit further out. So let's see if we can find anything useful quite close to us. Sometimes there's a wreck nearby, but yeah, with the scanner you can get uh, useful information on different things. Um, let's have a look. I should be able to scan the fish. Oh, get the keeper. Oh, okay. Coal tubes. You can scan most things. It's like, scan everything. I want, it, I want to scan you, people. Come back. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so some, yeah, sometimes there's a wreck close by to where you start. Uh, so we'll have a swim around and see if we can find anything. Just want sea glide that's going to help us, um, that's going to propel us in the in the water a bit faster. Oh, found something here that looks like out of the ship. Is there anything in there? Oh, look, the rest of it's there. Haha. <laughs> Right, let's see, what have we got here? Come on, what sea glide? I want beacons, I want grab traps. What have we got? Sea glide fragment, yes. Oh, nothing in there. Ha! Grab trap. They're really useful. So, so, yep, there's some more. Grab trap. In here. Oh, I'll grab trap, but that's fine. We'll get the titanium from that. That's good. We need all the titanium we can get. And there's a beacon. Beacon fragment. How many do I need? Oh, didn't tell me. Okay. Um, oh, is that another one? Yes. So they're going to help us. We can set those uh, at different points. Uh, to help us find where we're going to be, uh, where we've been, sorry. And, um, and yeah, just because you don't have a map, see, we'll get a compass soon, but what we don't have is a map. Is there any more sea glide fragments? Oh. That's a shame, but we, we will find it. Oh, another one. There's two. Oh, I've got it. I thought I needed three. Nice one. Okay, so inventory is full. 
Um, okay, well, the radio message that I've got should lead us to another Sea Glide fragment anyway. So let's go back. And we'll make the Sea Glide if we can. Where's my home? There it is. Um, and then we'll, um, we'll get the bits for the Habitat Builder. And um, yeah, then we'll go check out this radio message. Okay, so for the sea glide, I need a battery, I need some copper wire, I've got lubricant, I've got titanium, so that should be pretty easy actually. Let's see what haven't I got for this mum mushrooms. Okay. Oh, so there's loads of stuff on here, this is awesome. Um, oh, I think this is one that you can swim into, this is a great big coral tube them into and we should hopefully find some quartz in there. Ha! Oh that's one of them things. Ah it's gonna blow up! I can't swim that's enough. Go away! <laughs> and I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No I'm not. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Breathe boy, breathe. Ooh, is that an eclipse? Oh wow! Still. It still like I see the eclipse. Stop flailing, man. That's so cool. I've not actually seen that before. Nice. Okay, okay. That's a nice touch. Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. This is awesome. Okay. Um, if I remember rightly, there might even be a little bit where we can find some silver, and I need silver to make the habitat builder. Uh, but I'll likely run out of inventory space before I find it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Called it. Um, okay, well, we can come back. That's fine. I'm gonna get out this way. Oh, hope so. Oh, we need to go, we need to go. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, there's some brain coral. I'm going to die. Oh, I'm going to die this time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get to the surface. Please get to the surface. Go quicker. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I'm putting it a bit fine there, really, aren't I? I need to stop doing that. <laughs> You will exceed your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming was your favourite activity. Be mm. sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Yes, okay. Yes, I'll go walking, shall I? You silly lady. <sighs> Can we turn her off? So I should now have everything I need. Yes! For the sea glide! <laughs> we shall glide through the sea. Oh, and I can't pick it up. My adventure is full. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Um, oh, I can make flat. Oh, no, I can't make anything until that moves. Fine. Okay, fine. Just whatever. Let's just get rid of some of that stuff. And yay. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. <laughs> okay, five kilometers? I'm not going that far. Okay, we've got some glass. Can I now make... Oh, that one? Oh, battery. I'll make a battery. Ugh. Oh. I guess some more mushrooms. Should be able to now make a torch. And then I want to be so scared in the uh, in the dark. And I do it. And I make a battery. Yes. Can I make a torch? Yes. Let there be light. Okay. <gasps> Habitat builder. Let's sort out the stuff in my inventory first. Let's just make sure we've got some food and maybe get a medikit as soon as I keep uh, 
Oh, I'm in Minecraft mode. Uh, that's because I was thinking of them uh, blast fish things. They're like the, the they're like creepers, but fish. Oh, look, we can see. Yeah, oh, don't shine it in your face, you silly man. Bladder fish just hanging around. Need some water. Need some food. Need some water. Then we need to go find silver. Oh, one thing I forgot that we can make. The Duh. Local oh. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Oh dear. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Ooh. So before I was rudely interrupted. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment <laughs> appropriate equipment using locally available materials. Mm -hmm. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. I don't want to override it. Uh, before I was interrupted again, what I forgot to say is uh, we can make some fins. I thought I was swimming a bit slowly. Uh, so now with the rubber uh, that we made from the creep vine seeds, um, I now have some fins. So I should be able to get to the uh, to the surface a bit quicker when um, when I'm uh, you know running out of oxygen. Oh, moving so much better now. Oxygen. What's that? Oh, mobile vehicle there. That's, uh, we need that. Not just yet, but we will need that. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. So we're going to need that when we get our little submarine. Um, oh, stalker, stalker, stalker. Oh, he's just bitten that. Uh, I know, I know, I know, but I want your tooth. Drop a tooth. <gasps> he did. Just get it. Get it. Get it. That. That's useful. That will become apparent later on. <laughs> um, I just want some silver. Oh, salt. Oh, there's too many things. Seconds. Oh. Need a bigger oxygen tank. Ah. There's lots of useful stuff here. Uh, you've got creep vine for rubber. Um, if you actually cut creep vine. Um, you can make a fibre mesh out of it. I don't want to go down there, there's a mesmer, but I'll probably find some um, silver if I go down here. Oh, there. Sandstone. So looking for sandstone for silver and gold and lead. Yes, an need another one. Of many oh, I've got some gold. Ah, ah, mesmer, 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 run away. I need to go up anyway, I need some air. Ah. Be advised, uh, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation. Uh, yeah. There. Come on, please be silver. Oh, was that silver? I think it was. It's my lead. Okay, let's get back. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get back. Ah, oh, there we are. Now watch this. Now I've got the sea glide. I can do a proper, like, dolphin move. Watch, 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 watch. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go back, make a habitat builder, and then we'll make a storage room, and then we'll go check out the radio the radio transmission. So, just check what it is that we need. Computer chip, wiring kit, and a battery. Okay, so, um, do the wiring kit. What do I need? Uh, for the computer chip. Oh, we can do that. Do that. We, we can so do that. Uh, she says. Huh? Copper wire. Oh, there. <laughs> computer chip. Right, here we go. Habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor yeah. will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, I think we're safe 8, here. <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Not good. 
big old ship to be exploding. Ah! <sighs> so glad we weren't near that. <laughs> Good. Hey, so we can now get the radiation suit, which means we can get closer to the uh, Aurora. But I uh, don't need to do that just yet. Let's get something set up. Uh, need as much of this titanium as we can get. Need some copper. Uh, let me just okay so with the habitat builder it is exactly what it says on the tin we can build habitat so let me just check and see um, what we need because um, most of these things are you know just made of titanium but you've got things like foundation where you need some lead um, reinforcement you need lithium which we aren't anywhere near getting right now window glass you need glass but um there's no point making any windows until um until you've got some reinforcements so um the other thing we're going to need is some power so oh and i've got everything i need for solar panel okay right so let's just make a couple of compartments oh that's nice it's already dark where are we gonna go let's get the torch out um I mean, it doesn't really matter where I start uh, because I'll end up taking it down anyway to start uh, a, a new one. So let's maybe just, just go here and just do a couple of compartments just so I've got somewhere to put some storage space. Um, as good a place as any. One and there is two. You've got all different um, shapes and sh you know that you can make these um, compartments. You know, if you what you'll get eventually is some bigger rooms. Um, you know, so you, you're going to want to make uh, paths out of these compartments um, to go to the different areas. Let's go get some air. But for now, all we want is somewhere to keep our stuff. So we need to be able to get into it. We should have stuff for it, yeah. Okay, and then we also need a um, solar panel so that it will produce oxygen. So the, the Oh, what do I need? I ran out of quartz. Um, well, anyway, when, it, when it's got power, it will automatically create oxygen and light. That seems to be built into each compartment. Uh, but things like power, we need to set up ourselves. Okay, now it's getting light. That should... Yeah, I've done it. So now it's getting light. Ah, yes, it's picking up the light. Power restored. And the power All is restored. Primary systems Welcome aboard. Nice ones. So we've got um, a little uh, thing now where we can set up storage. Um, so let's start over here. Uh, there, is a, there is a bigger storage locker, but you need quartz for those. Uh, I tend not to bother with them until I've got um, more space. Uh, these are perfectly fine for now, these uh, normal wall lockers. I'm just going to completely fill this wall with these lockers. Probably fit some on the other side, but this should be enough for now. And now we have a nice dry place to just put stuff. So, um, the good thing about these as well is you can change the name on them so you know what's in them. Um, so we're going to have one that's just for titanium, we'll have one that's just for copper, uh, then, you know, some sort of miscellaneous one, titanium, there we are. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move my stuff into here, then we'll check out that uh, radio signal. Right then, I've moved most of my stuff into the new storage lockers in the, um, in the, in the little 
mini base that I've got and I went and cut some creep vine um, so that we can make the radiation suit. So with the creep vine you can make a fibre mesh and I have some lead already and I believe that should be everything you need. Aha, yes it is, radiation suit. So with this, when it comes to it, we can now get closer to the aurora, um, even though it's uh, leaking radiation at the moment. Okay, so let's go and check this out and see who we get on here. Receiving pre-recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Plugging holes. Signal location Listen. uploaded to PDA. Little. Anyway, <laughs> so we should have um, a little blip on the screen. Is that it? There it is. What I can do is change the colour of that because I can't see them when they're blue. Um, this one. iPod 3. Let's make it yellow so I can actually see it. Um, and we'll go and see what we've got over there because um, there's always some useful stuff. Um, where is it there? Always some useful stuff in the uh, in the uh, escape pod wreckage. Now, I uh, the first time uh, I played this, I was I was really scared to go and uh, look for these things because I just did not know what I was going to find. Um, but once I actually started uh, going and doing it, it was. Uh, I realised it wasn't so bad, except for the fact that you've got stalkers around you. Oh, I've got plenty of space. Um, let's scan that. So there's a sea glide fragment. That's always there. Um, so if you haven't been able to find um, two fragments yet, uh, there's always one there. So you're looking for things like this, abandoned PDA. Um, and I will just go get some oxygen first. Um, but yeah, there's also this data box, which if you find the data boxes, they have always got blueprints in them. Um, usually blueprints that you can't find by, by scanning things. Compass. Nice one. I think that's everything here. Um, you can't use any of this stuff in here. Oh, that's broken. I think that's it. I'll have a quick swim around. Make sure. But yeah, that's it for Life Pod 3. Okay, so let's have a listen. Um, when you find the abandoned PDAs, um, we will get crew logs, um, voice logs, and like really interesting things that um, will go with the um, go along with the story. Um, I think this one is just a bit of a bonus one. Some of them are just you know, entertaining, I suppose. Um, but um, some of them do hold useful information. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cellar rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the light pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Uh, so I'm guessing from that what happened was that, uh, that it overloaded and killed them both. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. <laughs> but there was nobody left alive. So something happened to those guys and uh, they're, they're gone now, unfortunately. Um, I mean, listening to some of these, the crew just don't seem that that intelligent. I don't know how they got here in the first place. But whatever. Anyway, we um, we did a lot today. We've got our little base set up for storage. Um, we've got the tools that we need. Uh, we went and found one of the escape pods. Um, yeah, it's um, we've got quite a lot done. So I'm going to leave it there because that's all the time I've got now for this episode. Um, and we'll uh, finish off again with the view of the uh, of the, the 
the strange planet that uh, circles this one. So if you did enjoy this uh, episode, uh, do smash that like button. And um, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing because it really, really helps me out. Um, press that bell button for all notifications. Um, there's links in the description for uh, Twitter and Discord and Facebook. So if you're using any of those uh, social media sites, um, go check me out. Come and say hello. I'd really love to hear from you. And until the next episode, guys, I will see you then. Bye.